Hi, so I'm here with Nigel Botts from Space for Climate and we're in the planetarium at the Green Zone at COP26. Nigel, can you please tell me about what this globe does behind us? So what this globe is doing is it's, it's projecting satellite data onto a framework of a globe and we can present all types of Earth observation information to, to illustrate what's happening. And what you're seeing here is biomass. And so it's the amount of forests and trees that are, that, that, that are prevalent. And you see here South America, that, uh, that we can come over here. And wow. he says Australia. And, and you see the, the relative <laughs> densities. And if we move up to Africa, the relative densities of the biomass on the planet as part of that process. And we can present other types of information, things like where is the CO2? And you see here, wow. this is as, as, the, as the years move forward, how the change of CO2 concentration has changed on the planet. Um, and again, focusing on Africa, you know, it's starting to get much, much more concentrations as we get closer and closer to the current day. And what's one of the most profound changes that you've seen over the past couple of decades or years from this globe? Well, the globe is a projection of information, so okay. it's actually the, the data from satellites. Well, but, the data. but to be honest, it's ice and, the and ice. snow and the, the melting of the ice caps. Um, and the glaciers is really quite devastating. and, and you know, it, it, it's really making uh, the difference to the to the planet and to the ecosystem going forward. So a really powerful way to kind of project what is going on in the world in a creative and, and, and to visualise it, it, it just brings it to life yeah. so that uh, you know the public yes. can see the impact and the contribution. If you look at you know at just a map or, or, or space spatial information, it's very hard to get that 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 visualisation of what's really happening to the planet and satellites provide us this global information and what better way to present it than on the globe um, and just you can move around and see the area of interest to yourself or to, to, to people and see the impact of what Look at all that red. That oh. CO2 and you know, do the same for methane you know, as another contribution and it's just the, the power of satellite data. Can I ask you, Nigel, Please. do you think that the governments have the power to make the changes that are required to stop that from getting worse? The governments have the power, whether they have the desire um, and whether they have the, the freedom to do so um, is perhaps a challenge that, that we still have to and face. And can you just touch upon what you mean by freedom? I think there is challenges from society and from industry and pressures that we are, are, are fighting through mm -hmm. to show that the impact and the importance and the criticality of action now mm -hmm. and not action in 2040 or yeah. 2050 or 2070 makes a difference. Yeah. And I think that's where, coming back to space again, I think where space makes a difference is it gives us the ability to show the impact and show the value and the benefits of net zero, of net zero targets and action, because we have to have a framework from which we can see gain and improvement and not just loss and devastation, because it will take time, but we need to have that confidence to, to do it. And governments need to have the confidence to know that their citizens will buy into the process and, and move forward. I think it's less about the citizens and I think it's more about the corporate partners and, and the businesses and the money makers. Uh, but I, yeah, yeah, I completely agree with what you're saying. Yeah. Thank it's, you. It's the challenge. Yeah. Yes.